Hey everyone, welcome back to Lovely Lavender Wishes. It's Renee and I hope you're having a very blessed day. So today we are going to be in Proverbs uh, 4. We're going to be in Proverbs 4 today. So I am using an image. It's like a little old camera image um, that I just downloaded from Google. It was like free images. So I just um, put in like old fashioned camera images and this is what came up black and white drawings. And um, I really like the image of this one. I am taking the inspiration from this page from Creative Life Studios. The lady over there, she does a lot of work with like the gel presses and all that. But um, her um, title of her uh, YouTube is Creative Life Studios. And um, she did a really bright page using the uh, stencil butter and the scraping technique and this camera about focusing. And I really, really liked that. And I'm really trying to focus on God and the word and focus on where I'm trying to lead my life right now and a whole bunch of other things. So this page, again, stood out to me. So anytime a page stands out to me or somebody, you know, says maybe a quote or a scripture verse or something that like really grabs me, I always want to like try to put that in my Bible because it's speaking to me. And so that's what I hope you all do too when you Bible journal. I hope you don't just do pages just because I do them or because other people do them because there's so many pages out there that I see, but I'm just like, oh, that's a pretty page. It's beautiful and all that, but it's just not speaking to me right now. Maybe it might speak speak to me in the future, um, but right now it, it didn't really like hit that chord or whatever. But on the pages that do hit the chord or scriptures that really stand out to me, those are the ones that I really like to Bible journal because again, it puts that scripture deeper into my heart um, for me when I journal. And there's been a lot of controversy too about Bible journaling. Um, I've seen a, a lot of different, uh, I guess, discussions you would say or questions from people saying, why do you Bible journal and write all over the word of the Lord? And why are you doing this artwork when it doesn't really pertain to the scripture verse or something like it? You might do a picture of a girl or a picture of a bird and the scripture has nothing to do with birds or girls or whatever. And they're wondering, like, are we just doing it just for the art's sake, just for the creative sake? But for me personally, I do it for a couple of reasons. Number one, it keeps me in the word more than if I was just reading or highlighting or whatever. Because when I'm creating, when I am doing my artwork it it kind of makes me slow down and focus on the verses that I'm doing. That's the one reason. Second reason is when I do do pages, like different art pages, for instance, here's, you know, a page that I did. Um, when I see this page, I remember, like, the verses that I was working on. I remember... Um, what I was feeling that day and like, you know, how I wanted to talk to the Lord about whatever it was that was going on in my life. I remember that. So it brings back, it's kind of like those stones of remembrance I talked about in a previous video. Um, these are kind of like my stones of remembrance, the, the, the art journal on the pages. Um, so it helps me put the, the scripture deeper into my heart when I do artwork because um, it kind of makes me slow down and really kind of focus on it. Um, that's the other reason. And then the, the third reason for me is I feel like God put in me, I just love to create. I love to do mixed media things. I love, I've always loved artwork. Um, I even majored in it in college. Um, I double majored in, um, in college and one of it was art. And I think that's just a way that God, something that God put in me to, you know, like kind of to flow out and so the artwork is kind of like, to me, it's kind of like a praise to the Lord. It's kind of like me um, honoring the Lord with my artwork. So that's just for me what Bible journaling means. Um, for other people, it may mean different things. But I really wanted to throw that out there because I know that people have been asking that question um, a lot lately since Bible journaling has gotten a lot more prevalent and popular and more people are getting into it and they always have those questions like why do you um, bible journal um, versus just taking notes or why do you bible journal versus just highlighting or whatever and I have another bible that I do highlight in I take notes I put all my sermon notes in and things you know all my word mapping and verse mapping I have um, study bibles that I do that in as well but then I also have my art bible so it's, it's kind of I'm doing it um, in a couple different ways, which I love. And I, I'm just thankful that God gives us 
um, opportunity to express ourselves in a variety of ways. Some people do it through music, dance, artwork, journaling, note taking, writing, um, whatever it may be. I love it. I love that we have all these different avenues. So anyways, to go on, y'all. So we're going to be in Proverbs 4. Um, I'm going to read 20 through 27, and I'll show you which one we're going to focus on, which verse. It says, My son, be attentive to my words, incline your ear to my sayings. Let them not escape from your sight. Keep them within your heart, for they are life to those who find them and healing to all their flesh. Oh, I love that. The word is life and healing. Keep your heart with all vigilance, for from it flows the springs of life. Put away from you crooked speech and put devious talk far from you. And this is the verse that I'm really focusing on. Let your eyes look directly forward or focus and your gaze be straight before you. Ponder the path of your feet, then all your ways will be sure. Do not swerve to the right or to the left. Turn your foot away from evil. I love this. So I'm going to grab my pen. And this is the verse that I'm really focusing on. Let your eyes look directly forward and your gaze be straight before you. So in other words, focus. But I'm also going to highlight or just kind of block off this whole thing. So this whole, you know, the Proverbs, again, it's Solomon. Most of these are um, from Solomon, I think. I think most, if not all, um, are from Solomon. And there, he's telling his son, you know, be wise. And the way to be wise is to listen to the Lord, to follow the Lord. And he's given them all these like little nuggets of wisdom. That's what Proverbs is, is all these little nuggets of wisdom, which I love. You can just, you know, take one nugget and ponder on that all day long. Okay, so this I printed on my Mako sticker paper, um, clear sticker paper. I had a couple little pieces left and I put it through my printer. And so here's the camera. And so I am going to imitate a little bit of what uh, the Creative Light Studios a lady did. I don't remember her name. I wish, I think, it's, is it Carrie? I'm not sure, not positive. But, you know, that's what I'm going with <laughs> right now. But I'm gonna kind of imitate her. So I'm grabbing my stencil butter. I have these colors. She had different colors, um, but I have the fuchsia and the orchid. And then it also came with the marigold and the gamboge, gamboge, um, yellow, <laughs> yellow. Um, it came in a pack of four. And so I'm going to open these up. And I love them. They're so yummy. I'm going to take a little bit and I'm actually going to kind of just smear it here on the... Um, piece I have the acrylic or this is a glass piece or acrylic piece um let me grab the towel wipe that off and then I'm gonna grab some of the purple I did just on my page Ooh, look at how yummy this looks oh yum 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 I'm gonna smear this on just make sure I get it all on because I don't want to waste any and then I'm going to take a credit card or an old card like that just, you know, my old card that I always use, my power card from what is this, Dave and Buster's? Or, yeah, Dave and Buster's. Oh, gosh, I don't even know if they're still open anymore. It's an old card. So I'm going to um, take this and I want to kind of push my card. I couldn't do it. I would have just done it through here, but see, the card won't fit in there. So got to do it this way. And now I'm just going to do the scraping technique. Get some more on here. And because my paper is a little, you can see a little wrinkly um, from uh, the other side. I was, you know, I had all that work done on the other side, but it's giving me texture on this side, which I think is just like another bonus. Some people don't like that. I love it. I love having these different textures. So you're gonna have like these different looks coming through. And actually, this looks like really um, uh, rustic because of the texturing already there. So I think it's pretty cool. So it's a happy accident that this is happening. And I want some of the background to show through. So we're just going to kind of go like this. And then let's put some on this side. Oops, 
I just, nope. <laughs> Did I just do, there I do. Okay. Let's just have some over here. Okay. And then we're going to do the same with the purple. And actually, I should probably, I wonder if I should dry this first. Actually, I'm going to dry this first. So I don't want them to smear into each other or blend into each other, I guess. I'm not even sure if they would. But just to be safe, I'm going to dry in between layers. It's thinly um, scraped onto the page, so I don't think it should take very long to dry. And the thing with these uh, stencil butters is they have a shimmer and shine to them. It's a yummy, yummy, yummy shine to it. I love it. And the beauty of this is when you do this kind of technique, you never get the same look twice. So you can do pages and pages of this and never have the same look because it's just all just by chance on how it's going to flow. Okay, let's do... missing that needs some purple now if you don't have a card you can do it with your fingers you can do it with there we go you can do it with a brush but you can find anything piece of cardboard or anything to do this with okay then the other thing I had was this metallic silver it's a mm, shimmering silver probably acrylic acrylic paint yes so I'm going to shake it up because I haven't used this in forever, so it could be all. And I'm going to put some silver on here. Let's see. Put some on my thing right there. Let's try this. One of my favorite colors, purples and pinks. That sounds coming through the other side a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, just this one spot up here. Oh well, I'll have some pink on that page. Just a little bit. Okay, let's see what the silver is gonna look like. It's not as thick as the, ooh, yeah, it's not as thick as the um, paste or the stencil butter, but it's still pretty cool. I do want some of the background still show through but I'm gonna cover most of it in spots So I do have a little bit of white showing through or cream or whatever, the, the original page showing through, but I want to cover most of it. Look at 
that. Ooh, love it. Love it. Okay, now let's go over here. corner a little bit oh gorgeous okay this part is missing some silver okay love it I love what that silver brings okay so to dry that This little piece right here, I want to, I want some silver right up here. Just kind of, there we go. Finish that off a little bit. So again, mine is going to look completely different, even though I'm using the same techniques and same layering and all that it's going to look completely different from the creative life studio page because i'm using what i have and i'm using different colors and a little bit of a you know different materials i mean she used completely all the stencil butter i'm using some acrylic paint and stencil butter and a few you know a few different things so again that's the beauty of you can get um you can get inspiration from somebody and you're and do the page kind of the same way, but get a totally different look. Okay, I am going to put a different piece of paper here. Hang on a minute, because I'm getting paint everywhere. Hang on. If I could find one, come on. Okay, right. here's a clean sheet. I'm getting like purple and everything. I might have to just go back and paint that page white. Okay, there we go. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to use is this pearl white stencil butter. I don't think I, have I opened this one yet? I don't even know. Let's see. Oh, yep, sure did. Okay. Ooh, it's like, look at that. Oh, it looks so yummy. So yummy. Look at that, y'all. Okay, so it's a pearl white stencil butter. And I am going to use this Heidi Swap stencil that I got I don't even know when probably a long time ago but it's like these hexagons and I think this is what uh creative life studio gal used as well and I'm just gonna put some hexagon images with the pearl white I don't think I need that much stencil that much of the stencil paste so I'm just gonna kind of scrape this through See what that looks like oh yeah let's just do a couple areas let's go onto this page side and I don't mind if it's like perfect perfectly you know stenciled or not it doesn't need to be it's kind of like there but not there barely there I guess and let's see, let's put some, I'm trying to think, if I put my camera right about here, let's put these maybe down here a little bit. It's always helpful to know kind of your layout of your page just for the fact that, oops, um, sometimes it makes it easier to figure out where you wanna put your stencils and such, or what parts you wanna kind of keep open, what parts, you know, you don't mind covering with some stencils or whatever. Now the thing with texture paste, um, and I'm not sure about the stencil butter, but I, I always kind of wipe off my um, stencils as much as I can before I can throw them into the sink and water. Um, Cause you know, sometimes they'll dry on your stencils. So I wanna make sure that I 
clean things off as much as I can for now. And then when I'm done, usually off camera, I'll bring everything to the sink and wash it all. Um, but with texture paste and usually, you know, paint and gesso, you want to get it off your stencils and off your brushes as quick as possible, or at least put them in water as, as quick as possible. And actually, I am, since I want to, no, don't give me a mess. Sorry, y'all. See, I'm always making messes. Okay, I'm gonna wipe myself off here. Ugh. What I was going to do <laughs> before I made this mess, geez Louise, I was going to actually scrape this off and try to save this because I don't want to waste anything and put it back in here and save as much as I can. Um, so there's one. Let's just make sure we get the top on and don't make a mess. Here's two. Oh my gosh, y'all. Come on. Y'all know me. I am the messiest artistic person ever. Uh, at least as far as I know. Okay, I'm going to get rid of that. Well, this is drying. I'm doing this. Okay, so I'm clearing this all up. Saving as much as I can. We'll put this to the side because I don't think I need this, but you never know. So we'll put that to the side for now. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm trying to think. Do I want to do some of the the white stenciling? No, you know what I'm going to do? I think I'm just going to use my finger. And I'm just going to put just some of this down. So I'm not going to go in and stencil the hexagons, but I'm going to I am going to add a little bit of this to this side just cuz I want to carry on that color to that side as well. Okay, another paper towel. I go through paper towels like crazy, y'all. Okay, so let's dry this. Make sure this is dry. Ooh, I love the shimmer and shine, y'all. Beautiful. Ooh, I'm already loving how this page is looking. It's like this really cool different look, especially with all the different layers. Okay, I'm hoping that's kind of dry. Oof, not quite yet. Let me, a little bit more, y'all. what I want to do next um I think I want to do these black stamps okay so I have black soot and this uh distressed type stamp and I'm gonna do a little bit on here because I I want to I don't want these completely bright colors everywhere um I'm trying to think which part I want to stamp up I think I'm gonna do this section right here so I'm using my black soot Okay, it's coming a little bit. Let's... Tilt it this way. Let's do some stamping up there. Just some little black highlights. Some black images. Actually, let's do... Okay, let's put 
in that way. And then, okay. Whew. So just some, just a little bit of black in the background. If you want more, you can always add more. Um, let me spray this. Get it off. That's a quick way to get it off your stamp, especially distress inks and oxides that react with water. Just spray it with some water, wipe it off, and then you can always go to the sink later and clean it off when you're done. Okay, let's dry that real quick. Let's find the camera. Okay, the camera I'm thinking is gonna go right about here. And since this is gonna be clear sticker paper, this area is gonna show through the camera. So what I'm going to do is kind of push it back a little bit with this. See the colors, how it's pushing back? Just gonna kind of push those colors back a little bit just so the camera will pop a little bit more off that color i do want some of the color in the back but i just wanted to fade it fade it to the background a little bit more so anytime you have an area that it's like too bright for you you can take some white gesso some white paint some other paint from your that you've been using and just kind of push that color to the back a little this way the camera will kind of pop off the page a little bit more it won't get swallowed by all that color You can even do, like I said, white gesso, white paint. Let that, let that cool a little. And then the other thing we wanted to do, she did a little pop of some like some little circles and some little colors. I have this orange that I think would be a really cool little pop of color on this page. Or I have yellow. Let's see, would yellow? Would we want yellow or would we want orange? Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go with the orange. I don't know why. I just I like the orange. So <laughs> I'm going to take my palette knife and the stencil butter, and I'm going to use this these little like little stars right here. This I don't know if y'all can see that. So I've got I got a whole bunch of uh, these stencils from a set from either AliExpress or Amazon. Um, I tell you all the time, those are the two kind of places I get stencils from. And I just want to put this to be on top. And I want just this little pop of color. And let me... On the page, yeah. Just a little bit. Let's put one here oh that's cute let's put one down here Rape it all up. There you go. And I'm going to put a little pop of color up here. Cute. Okay, I'm going to scrape the rest of that off. Put it in there. Save, 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 y'all. <laughs> Okay, I'm making more of a mess. Get all of it off as much as you can. Then we'll wash that after. I'll dump that. Okay. 
boy. I think I'm getting more paint on me than I am on the page, y'all. Okay, let's dry that, and then we'll finally start putting together our page. Layer upon layer upon layer. And then when you're done, it looks so cool because you just, you look at the page, you're like, wow. And the more you look at the page and the closer you look at the page, you see all these different layers. And usually when you first see a page like that, you're like, how did they do that? And then when you see people actually do it and you're like, oh, and you see them putting the different layers on layer upon layer, you're like, ah, oh, so that's how they achieved that effect. That's so cool. So I don't know. I just love watching people create it gives you all these new ideas of how you can add texture and different layers to your page and how you get the different looks. But yeah, this page is reminding me of, I have to keep my focus on the Lord. Like the verse says, let your eyes look directly forward and your gaze straight before you. I love that expression too, because you know how they say, you know, it's, you know, 2020, it's hindsight, you know, you can, you can look back and see, you know, look, a lot of times people are always living in the past, essentially, like I should have done this, should have, could have, would have, you know, that kind of thing. And, you know, I love how the word just says, you know what, forget the past, <laughs> forget what lies behind. Let your eyes look directly forward and your gaze be straight before you. You may think like, oh, I've messed up. I did this. I sinned. I don't know how I can go back and change it. Well, maybe you can't. That's fine. It's in the past, y'all. It's in the past. God's word says, okay, look for what's before you. Strive for what's before you. You know, it's good to learn from things in our past, but we also have to focus on the future, focus on Today, focus on what's before us. And sometimes we're so busy regretting things and living in the past that we don't we don't look forward. And we miss the things that are right in front of our eyes a lot of times. And so I don't I you know, I pray that I don't miss things that are right in front of my eyes. I pray that I don't um miss the blessings that are before me. And I want to focus on the Lord before me. So okay, y'all. Ready? We are going to start assembling our page so let's see if we can get this sticker off <laughs> okay oh gosh y'all know me in stickers and my nails are atrocious they've been so torn up because i've been moving things and doing a whole bunch of stuff okay so we're gonna put this camera right here look at that love it and see how that silver back there kind of just pushed the color back so it's you can still see color through the camera but not as much which I think it would have probably drowned out the camera a little bit, but I like that. So this, whew, yes, yay. Okay, and then I have these stickers. So she, I think, had different colored stickers and she um, gessoed black over them. I just have these black kind of see-through stickers because I think this will be a little cool because the color will kind of show through. Now I don't have an F, <laughs> but I do have an E and I know everyone's like, well, let me see what else I have. Everyone's like, don't use the E because you're going to need the E. But, you know, it's the closest I have to an F. So if you don't have certain letters, you can jerry-rig your, uh, <laughs> your stickers to make the letters you need. And so I am just going to go like this. And then voila, look at that. I got an F. <laughs> so you don't always need to have all the letters you, you, know, you think you need. So I'm going to write focus here. And let's... F-O-C-U-S. Okay, so I'm going to try to space this out as best as possible. Here's the F. O. C. Oops. Oh, no. 
very carefully. I'm trying to figure out, it's hard to do it at this angle. Okay, we'll just kind of stick that to U. And then that's. Uh oh, come on. Y'all know me and stickers. Why do I always have issues? There we go. It's because it's stuck there. It's like, there we go. Okay, let's move this. focus. That'll just get kind of creased in the crease. There we go. Focus. Yes. And then I have these um, Sharpie pens and I was gonna just kind of go in and add a few little scribble schools. Just a few, you know, just to kind of add a little interest to the page. And my pen is starting to, of course. I don't have much, the very best luck with pens. Uh, and depending on, I guess, what kind of pen you have, let me see. This is a permanent marker, fine point. Let's see if this one will work. There we go. I'm always shifting pens. I'm like, oh, find another one that's gonna work for a while. Depending on um, like what kind of <sighs> medium you're using here. Sometimes my pens work on it, sometimes they don't. I thought a Sharpie would work, but apparently not. Let's do a few here in the And I'm actually going to do some around the letters as well. Just for, I don't know, for fun's sake. Make the letters stand out a little. Make it more, I don't know, sketchy. I'm going to try this Sharpie too. This is a pink one, so I'm going to add the pink colors. Just a few. Kind of make them a little bit more sketchy, I guess, would be the word, I guess. Just to add a little bit more visual interest. And because I'm in like a sketchy mood. <laughs> focus, focus your eyes on the Lord. When you feel lost and you feel like, you know, you don't know where you're going. I know the one thing, you know, I've done a lot of pages like compass wise, um, you know, North Star, Jesus and the Lord. There are, they are our North Star. They are our vision to look at. You know, when you feel lost, just look to the Lord. Look to the Bible and it will hopefully put you on the right path. Um, do I want, I might just kind of draw in a couple little,
kind of just drawing in my own little hexagons a little bit here. Hmm. Trying to think how these actually, <laughs> I'm drawing little houses. I don't know what I'm drawing here. Just kind of making little squiggly lines. That's okay. Just wanted some black over here a little bit, just to kind of even that out. Well, there we go. So let's pull this off. So there is our page, y'all. I'm gonna put the date stamp with just like a black stamp probably right over here. Um, don't forget to date your page. But focus, so today we are in Proverbs 4, verses 20 through 27, but actually focusing on verse 25. Let your eyes look directly forward and your gaze be straight before you focus focus on the lord focus on where you're going don't focus on the past focus on the future and the present and don't miss out on what's in front of you and i love that and oh yeah look at so let's see when you see the light see how the light hits that how shiny it is those texture uh butters or those stencil butters so fun so it just got a little different pops of color so it looks like up close you can see the black stamping just lightly in the background, but it just kind of gives that, you know, sketchy type of look to the background. And here's this side, just carried over. There's our page. Focus on the Lord, y'all. I hope you enjoyed that. I had fun creating, of course, and I'm so glad y'all joined me this week, and I'll see you in your next video. Bye, y'all.